Hey everybody, it's Andy from Andy Gets Gas. Uh, this will be episode two of Andy Drink Beer. Uh, today we are in Falwell Park in North Minneapolis. I'm um, just hanging out here on a uh, bench on the baseball diamond. Um, not a lot of people, there's a couple of kids in the playground way over there. So, yeah, pretty nice day. Um, our beer today is from Summit Brewing Company, uh, St. Paul's favorite. Uh, Summit started in 1986, which makes it just a couple years younger than me. Um, and it was really kind of the godfather of Minnesota craft beers. Uh, they do a pretty solid job with everything they do and um the one we're trying today is pretty it's pretty new um i've had it before but let's have it again um it's called dark infusion it's a coffee milk stout <laughs> and uh yeah let's crack that open if i can get it open there we go Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, I'm a fan of stouts and porters. I think a lot of milk stouts out there are a little too milkshakey, um, like too sweet, um, unbalanced. They, I mean, definitely a stout or a porter. Um, should emphasize the sweetness of the malt over bitterness of the hops. Any hops you should be there to complement those roasty, toasty, coffee, chocolate, biscuity, um, malty notes. And I think they do a pretty good job here, especially since um, <clears throat> Summit only does a couple of, of dark beers. They focus more on their EPA, their IPA, their other IPA, uh, their other IPA, uh, and so on. So it's um, really refreshing to see um, a stout. I think stouts and and porters are very underrepresented in the craft beer world. Everyone's all up on these IPAs, and you know they're fine. Like. I don't want to drink an IPA on a chilly day. I want uh, I want something darker, something heavier, something that's gonna fill up my belly. Um, a key thing I look for in parks that I want to drink in is uh, kind of see them right there: garbage and recycling. Uh, since you're packing everything in, packing it out, you don't want to have empty cans in your car. That's a really bad idea. Um, so I like to look for parks with garbage and recycling. I like to look for spots I can post up kind of near those, or at least I'll walk by them on, um, on my way back. The only thing I don't like about this, and I've noticed this a lot with with stouts, milk stouts, porters, um, and a couple of brown ales, is that kind of, it's almost like a burnt match flavor. Um, just on the aftertaste. Like it tastes like coffee, chocolate, um, going down and then that aftertaste it just kind of sits on your tongue um like a burnt match that kind of sooty wood the little touch of sulfur taste other than that though i mean it's very it's very smooth it's 
very drinkable. Um, I don't know the ABV on this. Um, I assume it's somewhere around five. So that's typically what Summit does. They don't really veer too far in either direction um, from 5%. And really, 5% is kind of the, that's the sweet spot anyway. So you got Dark Infusion. I like the little astronaut on there. That's pretty fun. Little UFO he's coming out of. Most of the, their cans, their design, aren't this uh, artsy or fancy or kooky, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's usually just the name and style of the beer. Uh, yeah. I want to see a dog. There you go. What did he go? <sighs> Missed him. Oh, nope, there he is. There he is. Hi, puppy. That's a hound dog right there. The coloration looks like, uh, looks like my parents' dog. So yeah, this is pretty good. Um, I bought it as part of, a. Uh, the Summit Sampler Pack, um, and they'll release seasonal samplers throughout the year. I think they do four, four different samplers throughout the year. <clears throat> this one has the uh, Dark Infusion Coffee Milk Stout, uh, the Great Northern Porter, which is one of my favorite beers, um, and definitely one of my favorite darker beers. Um, and they have the Keller Pills, that's Pilsner. Um, it's good. It's pretty much what you'd expect out of a Pilsner. And then, uh, of course, their flagship beer, Summit EPA. Excuse me. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, when you burp this back up, it's very reminiscent of, like... A hot fudge Sunday. Um, this would be an excellent beer to make a float out of. Just throw a scoop of vanilla ice cream in it. I would love that. I'd smash that down. But uh, we're almost done here. Not a lot to talk about. Spent eight hours packaging oatmeal today. Sit in one spot. Um, yeah, it's nice to be out of work and drinking a beer. Oh, shit, I think that's someone I know. All right, well, we're done. And uh, any questions, comments, concerns, let me know in the comments. Make sure to uh, check out the uh, Andy Gets Gas videos where I eat food from the gas station and review it. Um, and, uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in to Andy Drink Beer. Y'all have a good day. Pack it in, pack it out.